Well, if you're looking to improve your bowling score, <coughs> Chris Burt, <laughs> and help kids in the community, we have a really great event for this you. This is a great event. Susan Smith and Matt Lyseth are here to talk about the Bowl for Kids Sake event. And both of you, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. So let's just give us the premise. What is this event all about and what's it doing for our community? Well, Bowl for Kids Sake, it's the annual major fundraiser for Big Brothers Big Sisters. So it goes to support mentoring services for youth in the community that could just really use some additional adult support. I love, too, that you have Hornbachers involved, and that's where you come in. And you guys have had these up in your store many times before. You guys have been part of this event. Yes, we have. This is our 16th year that we're uh, wow. raising funds for Big Brother Big Sister. And year-to-date, we've raised over $533,000 for this program, thanks to loyal customers and just this great community that uh, always steps up for a great cause. What makes you guys commit to helping them out year after year? Well, I think it was just a relationship that we've had for years, and we realize that mentoring works. It's, it's not always the most exciting program, but a little brother and a little sister having a mentor in their lives makes a big difference. And we've seen, and Susan can tell you a million stories of the kids that have gone on to be the first one in their family to go to college because they had a mentor. Wow. Tell us some of those stories. I think sure. that's powerful. Well, absolutely. And, you know, like so many other programs are measuring outcomes. So, you know, we see the kids are doing better in school. They have improved relationships. They have a better sense of future. But, um, you know, aside from the outcomes, some of those stories, you know, like Matt was mentioning, we have so many kids that have just been supported and encouraged to go on to college and just really mm -hmm. realize the potential that they have. I know we've had some people on before who are those mentors that, that are working with the kids and they said too, they're like, you know, I don't want to admit this, but I get almost more out yes. of it than the kids do. We hear that quite often as well. You know, it's, you get to do some of the things that you haven't done in many years, but it's all about that relationship and that relationship is a two-way street. So there's benefit on both ends. So let's talk about this event then. Oh, there's some people from our crew from Valley News Live, but so this is starting tomorrow today it starts today. today so beginning today at any register as you go through a hornbacher store a cashier will be asking you if you'd like to buy a bowling pin whether mm -hmm. it's one or five we'll write your name on it and you'll see it in the window so the next two weeks we'll be raising funds and it's kind of the kickoff to the bowling event that's right mm -hmm. so help people understand if i go in and buy some of these pins my money helps young people in our community how specifically mm -hmm. Well, it's for the service delivery of providing that mentor to these youth. And, um, you know, we have a very thorough screening process, enrollment process, and then we also provide match support for those matches once they're made because any relationship is going to have some struggles and ups and downs and um, really supporting those volunteers through that match relationship as well. Any specific goal then this year that you're hoping to reach as far as dollar amount raised? We do. We are hoping to raise $100,000 this year. Wow. And we came close last year. We raised about 92000 throughout the whole event um, <clears throat> time frame. So looking to bump that up just a little bit. Wow, that is a big goal. But again, there's so many kids in our community who could use that help too. Absolutely. We have about 63 kids on the waiting list right now. And most of those are boys. And those boys are waiting a year, year and a half at this point to receive a big brother. So in addition to funds, we don't charge fees for services, so funds are critical, but also volunteers. We couldn't do that without the volunteers that step forward to spend the one-on-one -on -one time. That's what I was going to say. If there's some people out there like, you know what, this is really calling to my heart. How do they become a mm -hmm. big brother? What do they need to do? Sure. They can call the village at 451-4900, um, or they mm -hmm. can just go to our website. We have an online application and a lot of information on the website as well, and that is just bbbsfargo.org. I think one important thing to know, too, is you don't have to be anybody special to go do this. I did this at one point with a young man who was really struggling, and you just show him that you care, and all of a sudden his grades started to go up, he started mm -hmm. to have a better home life. So uh, if it's calling to you, check out their website, give them a shout, and help out, because it makes a big, big difference. Thank you for everything that Hornbachers does. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Stay with us. We're going to wrap things up right after this.